If this comes back boy, I'm gonna be like, I need a confirmation one more time. <laughs> What's up, Seb Squad? Today is January 28th, and I am going to go pick up Jacob right now from school. It is 11, 12 a.m. He has a dentist appointment today, so yeah, we are gonna go pick him up and go to this new dentist place. We've never been there before, but it looks really awesome. It's supposed to be like all for kids, like has like a gaming area. It's called Zuka Dental. As you guys know, if you follow our channel, Jacob and Braylon do have autism, so the dentist can be really hard. I'm just hoping for the best. I think Jacob will do good. I'm a little bit nervous about Braylon's appointment next week, and then Jackson has his appointment the week after. We'll see. This place is supposed to be really good, and actually, I'm kind of glad that the appointment took longer to make because it just so happens that the regular dentist that's there, who I've heard good things about too, she's on vacation, and there's a dentist from Bend, which is is like two hours away that specializes with autistic kids and he's gonna be who Jacob Braylon and Jax have their appointments with or I think at least Jacob and Braylon for sure I'm not sure if Jax will or not but that is such a blessing I'm excited to see how this goes all right let's go get Jay from school so we're totally brushing Jacob's teeth right now okay come here you gotta brush him really good for the dentist Oh, Braylon, we're not leaving, but you're not coming with us. Jacob might come back, too, depending on how long this takes. Braylon is already in his coat. <laughs> already in his coat and backpack thinking he's going to come with us. Okay, no. B-Ray, you're next Monday, okay? You're gonna be next Monday for the dentist. I know, you are. Let me see your face. You gotta go see the dentist. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, so I got Jacob here. Go ahead and buckle up, bud. That, seriously, you guys, broke my heart. Braylon was so sad that we were not taking him and he was throwing a huge fit and it's time to go to lunch and I feel so bad. It's hard, sometimes I just don't know whether I should say hi or like try to sneak by him because I, I want him to see us and I wanna say hi to him, you know? I know a lot of you other moms who have kids on the spectrum, you don't wanna disrupt their routine. You getting your seatbelt on? The stuck. Okay, we'll pull on the strap up top. There you go, there you got it. Okay, so I've never been here before, so I need to get directions. I think we're gonna be on time though. Oh, it says I'm five minutes away. I may have time to get a coffee. That's exciting. Oh, it's downtown? I don't feel like that's right, but it says it's right by Dutch Brothers down here, which is where I wanna get my coffee. But yeah, that was really sad, leaving B right in there like that. But I think actually Jacob might be coming back to school if this goes fast enough. Yeah, it's saying it's downtown. So actually, th these directions are actually weirdly make it, wanting to make me go. Or does anybody else think that the GPS is run by gas companies or something? Because whenever I know of how to get somewhere, I swear it's taking me the longer route every time. It's like ridiculous. But okay, you ready to go to the dentist? What did you say? It was a doctor for your teeth, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he asked me. He's like, doctor. what? I'm gonna lose my teeth. Well, the doctor's not gonna make you lose your teeth. He's gonna look at your teeth. Oh. Yeah. He's like, are we going to the doctor? I'm like, well, kind of. It's a doctor for your teeth. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. We found it. I had no idea this place was downtown. So we're here and we're actually a little bit early. I was able to get my coffee and I feel so bad. I needed to get something to eat and I got this little chocolate chip muffin top <laughs> and Jacob really wants some. I told him I would save some of it for him for afterwards but and I'm gonna get him food before I drop him back off at school. <laughs> I'm like, we need your teeth to be just clean right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat the, a little bit of this and we'll start walking in in like five minutes. 
Okay, so I was super confused. Apparently we could have got in on that side too. Look at this setup. You have to like push this button to open this gate. We walked all the way around from that side for like no reason. All right, here it is. You can't believe this is the doctor because there's like superheroes. Okay, go ahead. Look at this. They have a TV right here so that he can watch it. It's like a flat screen. That is crazy. What are you watching? PJ Masks. PJ Masks? Okay, so x-rays were a little rough, but he actually did, he did pretty good. He was just having a really hard time understanding like how to bite. I'm a little bit nervous for that part for Braylon actually. What's what for? That's a camera. We have cameras. Surveillance. So far, so good. He is pretty content over there watching his cartoons. How did that feel getting your teeth cleaned? Did it feel good? Yes. Jacob did really well. His x-rays are great. No cavities. They are worried that his front teeth are a little bit weaker, I think, which it's interesting because Braylon's look that way too. So he said it definitely could be something genetic. Let me see your prize that you got. Yeah, that's awesome, bud. The front desk lady said that that's like the, one of the most popular ones <laughs> that the kids pick. But anyways, they want to put sealants on his teeth. So we just scheduled that appointment. But otherwise, he's got no cavities. His gum health is good. The orthodontic part of it too, he said he looks really good so far. He hardly has a, like an overbite. And yeah, it was just actually a really good report. All good news for Jacob. So one down, two more to go. Let's just pray for good news for all of them. I'm a little bit nervous after seeing what they're gonna do, because they're gonna do the same thing with Braylon next week. I am a little bit nervous. With Braylon, it's really hit or miss. I mean, he has his good days where he's cooperating, and then there's those off days. So we're gonna go get Jacob some food, and it is, I mean, he does have less than two hours left of school. I think I might just take him home, actually. Alrighty. Let's go get some food. Okay, so I just got Jacob some food, so now he's fed. Was your food good, Jay? Yeah. Is your tummy nice and full? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So last night I did a vlog for a sneak peek gender tests, and obviously if you follow our channel, you already know that we're having a girl after four boys. But I had this sneak peek test, and I just wanted to do it. Like, I'm just kind of a weirdo and wanted to like do the science experiment so we're at the post office right now we're gonna drop this off we should get results by thursday so three more days and then i'll have that vlog up too and in that vlog i didn't say what we were having just in case you know people are searching it and just want to kind of have the suspense of seeing what it is at the end of the video i'm a little bit nervous because if it comes back boy which it could come back boy because you have to be really careful when doing the test because if it's can it can get contaminated really easily i guess by boy dna if you have 
boys in your house, which obviously there's five other boys in my house. I also have a male cat. <laughs> so I don't know, I did disinfect and everything really well. But if it comes back boy, I feel like I'm gonna be like, okay, we need another ultrasound to like confirm, even though we've had three ultrasounds that confirmed girl and we had genetic testing done by the doctor. I have all said girl, but I'm like, oh my gosh, if this comes back boy, I'm gonna be like, I need a confirmation one more time. <laughs> So who knows, if it comes back boy, maybe you'll be seeing a special 3D ultrasound where we will drive to Redding, California, because that's where the 3D place is. And I've already debated, I've kind of wanted to just do it because I'm so anxious to see what she looks like. But again, we're so close to the end. We're gonna see what she looks like when she's born. So hopefully this just comes back, girl. But that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna go drop this off and I'll keep you guys posted with that. You can check out that vlog in a couple of days when it's posted. So I'm just sitting outside really quick because Drew's watching a movie inside and it's really loud. I just checked the mail. Apparently I haven't checked the mail in, I don't know, maybe a week because there was a ton of mail. <laughs> My cousin just sent me this little card. She is seriously so sweet, you guys. I'm so blessed like to have the family that I do and the friends that I do. Gifts are great and stuff and getting things is cool, but I'm more about like it's the thought that counts and like just to get a card that she's just thinking about me. That is the stuff that I love love the most. It's so thoughtful. Like it's so easy to just go on Amazon and send somebody a, a gift really quick, but to take the time to get a card and to actually write something to me, it's just so special. Like I feel like we live in such a digital world that just doesn't happen. And so this was just so sweet. I wanted to read it to you guys. It says, hi cuzzy. Just wanted to let you know I'm thinking about you. I'm so proud of you for just being you and going for this vlog thing, no matter what anyone thinks of you. I can't wait to see how you grow and how it evolves. I also can't wait to meet our little sweet pea. She is just going to be the cutest thing ever. Hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Love your favorite cuzzy. That's just so sweet. Thank you, Melissa. Just made my whole day. Especially a letter in a whole stack of like bills. <laughs> Because it's like so depressing. I feel like mail these days as an adult is so depressing. So to get something like this is just so refreshing. Just speaking on that too, I also want to just say thank you to everybody who has supported our family channel so far and this vlog journey that I'm on. I'm so excited about it. I am truly enjoying making these videos and creating these videos. I think it's just going to be so awesome for the boys to have to look back on. Now, I haven't had a lot of my inspirational vlogs come out yet, but I am going to be having more vlogs kind of directed more towards the boys and their autism and raising large families. I just want to be inspirational to people and I want to reach people and help people. If my channel grows to where I can get paid to do what I love and speak and help people out there, then I don't know what's better than that. But I just really want to truly thank everybody who has supported me thus far and been excited for our channel and for this journey that we're on. I've really loved getting to meet new people too. Like network with other YouTube mamas or other YouTube channels out there. It's just been a really cool experience so far. So I'm just embracing it, being patient with the growth part of it. We'll get there and it's gonna be exciting. I have so much more to share with you guys that I'm excited about, but I'm gonna go ahead and head inside, probably work on some vlogs. Everybody just ate. Braylon should be off the bus in just a little bit. Two hours later. Good job, Jay. Good job, well are you making us dinner too? Are you making Reese, us breakfast burritos? Throw them on there real quick. Then. It's hot. Drop it. Go ahead. Don't be scared. There you go. Good job, man. Later. All right, guys. We had some breakfast burritos made by Jay and Drew tonight. Today was good though. Jacob did really good at the dentist and all good news, so that was great. Uh, if you liked today's vlog, go ahead and like, subscribe to our channel, and follow along with our journey. We'll see you guys in our next video. Good night.